Yet another car stolen by a rogue tow truck. It's the third case we've seen. The truth is, though, this time of car theft has been happening since last year. Lindsay Watts has been on top of the story for us. She's live right now in Northwest with the details. Lindsay. Jim, we have been asking D.C. police since last week exactly how many times has this happened? How many cases like this do they have? We still don't have that number, but we keep hearing about more of them. It was shock and then it was anger. December of last year, Joy Douglas's parents were in town from Ohio and they had all just come home from seeing the city. And notice when we looked out the window that the car was missing. Her dad's black Camry was parked here along Malcolm X Avenue in Southeast. Ring camera footage shows an unmarked tow truck parked close by and a man near her dad's car. You could see him going to the car and the next little shot, it was gone. The footage doesn't record nonstop, so there's no shot of the tow truck moving the car. But the police report notes the car was taken by a tow truck with no identifiers. It's terrible. You hate that for your parents. You hate that for anyone, um, but especially your parents to come into your city to your home and have that happen to them. Um, it really just hurts my heart and it hurts me for everybody else that this is happening to. A little over two months after her dad's car was stolen, we've learned this Corvette was wheeled away in Georgetown. It can happen to anybody uh, in the blink of an eye. Jacqueline Baker says the car was later recovered in Anacostia, but police told her someone had been shot and killed inside. These older cases coming to light now after a rogue tow truck was caught on cam stealing a car in Southeast. This was a little over a week ago now. It's a new car, only had it six weeks. Beautiful car. Lyndon Bilal's new hybrid Honda Accord, gone in less than two minutes. I'm just angry. Douglas says seeing these other cases on the news brought back the feelings from when it happened to her family. Um, I really wanted to do this and speak to you because I would like for neighbors to just be on the lookout. She heard from some other neighbors on the Nextdoor app who say that their cars were stolen the same way in that same area. We're trying to work to learn more about those cases. D.C. police tell us today that they're working with investigators to try to nail down exactly how many times this has happened. In the meantime, take Douglas's advice there and be on the lookout for any unmarked tow trucks. Back to you.